What's in here? It's not. It's actually. If we hide, would we die? Ah! Oh, why did I do that? Ah! Now I'm gonna die now. Hey everyone, Guilty here, and we're back with the Withering Rooms. This is part two, and we are back in the game. Um, it is a bit randomly generated, so we've got a different sort of background here than before. Yeah, straight into it. We've got more crafting, but we haven't figured out how to craft yet. And I think, oh, is this the bad room where the ghost is? I think it is. Yep, so we got the ghost here. I'm not sure how to... Actually, if we have a photo of him, let's see if that works. Aim to shoot. Okay. Oh, we can kind of see him from here. Oh, there we got him. Yes. Okay. Does that kill him? I think we killed him. <laughs> okay, search body. Oh, so that's how you kill him. You kill him with a camera. Spectral remains of fine phantasmic dust, slightly hot to touch. Oh, ghost physician. Spectral remains. Can we find a way to resurrect the phantom in the white coat? We're understaffed. Okay, that's good. So we don't have any, uh, the camera is kind of a weapon then. Okay, gonna equip the cleaver. We need a better weapon, so we want to make sure when we die, we don't lose our best weapon. Okay, what's this healing item? Heals an additional 1% per second for 60 seconds. Nice. Can't open it. Oh, yeah. So it was kind of like last time. Maybe the map's the same, it's just the background looks a bit different. But it's a good thing we got rid of that ghost. Maybe next time we go back to the nowhere, we can give back the the camera or the photo. See what that does us. Okay. Now there was probably an enemy somewhere in here, so we've got to be careful. Oh, I think I'm just gonna leave because we know what that one's about. Ah, oh, it sees me, you know. There we go. Okay. Bit silent now because I'm concentrating, but <laughs> it's just hopefully we don't run into any one of them again. Okay, we'll search our thing. I don't know if I'm doing really good in this game or really bad, but I think we're off to a slow start. Um, oh yeah, we already asked this girl. She's one of the good ones. Question Nightingale. Now, is there anything else we need to look at? No, I don't need to read more of that. It seems like we're cursed a little bit because you can see that little curse meter just above on the top right of that skull. So hopefully that doesn't play into our psych at all. Nope. No, it's just easily to walk through these doors all the time. Let's search these. Got more. Okay, what have we got in here? Oh, we've got another enemy. Should we sneak up to it? I feel like that's good to do. Yes. We've got a free hit on it. Oh, if we flawlessly kill it. Oh, yes, we didn't even get hit. That is how you do it. Sulfuric acid, highly corrosive but ineffective in its current form. With proper equipment, could be turned into a throwable jar of acid. And a holy candle gradually heals curse damage. Yes, so that's what I need for it. The longer one stays close to it, the faster it heals. Dispels nearby magical traps. Spirits and enchanted armor cannot pass while it burns. Hmm. That's very convenient. I like that. Okay. Wait, did we search the body probably? Now we can hide there. Okay. And we got more red wax. Useful ingredient for production of spells. Still haven't figured out the spell thing yet, but I don't know. Let's see what's this way. <laughs> A bunch of naked statues. Creepy doll. I think we lost our last one, didn't we? Now we got it again. Got our food. Got that. We'll probably need to buy more of the um, photograph things. Okay, that was because of the curse, I think, that, that moved. Spirit twig. A table for pressing wax. Wait, wait, wait. Can we press the wax here? Maybe we haven't learnt it. I feel like we got the wax and that's the place to have it. 
Uh, manage your remembered items. Um, what shall we remember? I can't remember anything else. Oh, maybe if we unremember that. You know, I think we should we should always have a weapon on us. Um, but that's good. If we find a better weapon, we should swap that over too. And I'm gonna speak to you. Filthy wretch, our next lesson of casting spells. You may be skeptical about the existence of magic in the real world, world world. But there is nothing doubting its power in its dream. Hold this blue scroll. Okay. The seal will break and the magic energies contained will consume the scroll and escape. The blue scroll is a protection spell. Giving you an invisible suit of armor that will absorb it after a few hits of being dissipated. There is a price, however. Using magic will cause one to become slightly cursed. The effects are numerous. Graying of the skin and increased awareness of paranormal activity nearby. That just sounds like being cursed. Next strange and horrific sights previously hidden will reveal themselves. Everyone has a tolerance for being cursed, which if exceeds leads to a rather rapid internal rotting process. In that case, use a warden candle immediately to reduce your cursedness. Enough prattle, give that spell a try and see what you're ready to learn. Okay, um, whether we just press A on it? Um, I don't know what that is. <laughs> that looks interesting. Um, Oh, I think I can use it. Oh, it just gave me curse. I don't know what it did to give me extra health. Wait, I should use the candle, eh? Where's my candle? I guess I should assign it, but I'm just going to use it this time because it's only one. Yes, look at our curse. <laughs> Get rid of that. Okay, we're good. Does that candle just stay there? Let's see. Ah, oh, it just does, so... If I ever want to remove my curse, I'll just go there again. Yellow wax. I don't understand this spell though. Like, what does it do for us? Can I equip that? Oh, this is a white sigil, so we're in the safe zone. Oh, this is where the aristocrat was, wasn't it? So he's probably going to be over to the right. There he is. Oh, there's a chest here this time. That wasn't there before. A red room with a painted cross, 15% max health, 40% bleed tolerance. Let's put that on. That's our rings. And yeah, we'll equip everything. I feel like we have 10 fingers. I don't know how many we can actually equip on it though. Shall we speak to you again? Good evening. Bye. What shall we buy? Probably nothing. Keeping it for the photos. Nope. Ah, oh, keep walking through the doors. That's fine. Now, what's going to be in here? An enemy, okay. If we sneak up to it, hold. Yes, we got a good hit on it. Oh, I didn't want that. There we go, flawless victory. And we got strange coin treasure. What else we got in here? Oh, a hiding spot. Now, what's this say? Warning candles while lit inhibit movement. Carefully observe the ghosts and sneak past it, fearing. Okay. This is just all hints. We don't need hints. We can work it out. I say that, but later on I'll probably get stuck. <laughs> if I ever get stuck, I'll probably cut it out. So you don't want to watch me get stuck. Blue wax crafting a cult. Now, if I go in here, what's going to be in here? An enemy, of course. Oh, did you see that? It's like... I see what the, the thing does. Oh, don't get too far away from it, because it starts shooting you. Why is he talking? I don't usually talk. Ah, uh, groundskeeper. Defeat. Oh, this is the guy that killed us before. And he was an actual, like, one of a kind, I guess. Dafid forgot to set the traps again, and now the hedge maze is positively crawling with vermin. Oh yeah, so I forgot to say, I tried to start the video, but I completely died from him the, the very second I started the video, so I kind of cut that part out. But yeah, he killed me and that's all that happened. I met him in one room. First room I entered. 
Uh, yep. Because I think... Oh, no. <laughs> I wanted to go back into the nowhere to get more uh, camera films. That's fine. Actually, did we search his body? Hang on. What's going on here? Are you an enemy? Should I worry about you? Okay, that's kind of messed up. <laughs> Excuse me, kid. Why are you collecting the blood? That's a bit messed up. Do you just run away now? Oh, no, you just sit down? What? <laughs> ah, strange kids. Bet you it's gone now, too. Yeah. They just come and clean up the mess. It's locked. Oh, but we've been absolutely everywhere. I wonder where to go now. Okay, we're going to head back into the bathroom now. I think this is the only thing we can do. But I might die. I don't like this at all. Uh, if we keep attacking it like this, we should be fine. But I'm going to get cornered soon. Oh, oh yes, we can do this. Okay, if we hold it, it kind of gets flinched, so that's good. Continue like this. Maybe it isn't so hard. Wait, I, that was a new move. Did I get poisoned? Oh, the poison gone away. That's good. Okay, search body. The enlarged heart of a living corpse. A beast zombie. Yeah, they are definitely harder to kill. Got a corrupted heart on us, though. That's great. But we still don't know where to go. Okay, I just crafted our first spell. It took me a while, but all I had to do was press A. I didn't think we had the equipment for it, but apparently we do. So I'll buy maybe one of each. Why not? So that means I can return to the filthy wretch and maybe progress. I've taught you everything I can for now. To continue your studies in the occult, you'll need to find the first witch in the basement. Here is the east stairwell key. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. Before heading down, you might talk to Margaret Blackett. She mentioned needing something from down there. Be warned that someone has tampered with the gas pipes in the basement. All the lights are out. And the basement is not somewhere you want to be without a light. Oh, okay. Quest complete. Okay, we have our mission. Now, before we go right, I said to look at... Was it um, Margaret? Right? No, not you. Where did the other one go? So it wasn't in there. Yeah, it was over here. So we've got all the monsters in here. We're kind of making sense of the game, which is great. Now that you're acquainted with magic, I have a favour to ask. There is a powerful artifact in the Mostan ma Mausoleum that may be the key to escaping the dream. The last person seen there was a butcher surgeon. He's a repugnant man my father hired to help him with research in the dream. I've heard he was seen in the mausoleum recently searching for corpses to animatize. He spends most of his time in the basement studying corpses in the kitchen. As you are much more able with magic than I, can you venture down there and see if you can find anything out? Be careful, he's a truly odious and unpredictable man. Also, have you taken a close look at the curio cabinet in the occult library? Lots of interesting objects in there. Okay. Um, ask the butcher surgeon in the kitchen about Moston Mausoleum. Where's the kitchen again? Investigate the curio cabinet in the occult library. Okay, we'll go to the occult library then. Uh, <laughs> I think they want us to find something there. Oh, see, there's a secret here. Ah, oh, yes. Good thing we didn't venture forward. Uh, that looks like an enemy quest. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Just gonna sneak past you. That thing's definitely gonna open the more I go down here. Um, bait out attacks by dodging the last second, then heavy attack to close the distance. Use a yellow dummy spell to create a distraction and attack from behind. Briefly hide under furniture to avoid projectile or charging enemies. Huh. Cast a red hex on a door or wardrobe, then place a doll nearby to attract the attention to it. Hmm. Use sounds to your advantage, fireworks, blah blah blah. Tailor to the rings you wear to your preferred combat to maximize damage. You know that's probably actually really good info. 
And when are you going to appear? Can I attack you now? Nope. Okay, I just gotta... Oh wait, ring bell. Oh, that's gonna make him come, right? Nope. Or is it somewhere this way? Still, <laughs> I'm still scared of these knights. They're gonna appear. Or not. Okay. Combat training procedure. It is critical the initiative activate the shrine prior to the beginning of training. Otherwise, the knight will be wasted. For successful training, the initiate should activate the mirror shrine, pull the chain to release the training assistant, engage in combat, die, repeat. What? Explain to the initiate that if they defeat the training assistant and would like to restart, they can take advantage of the Iron Maiden in this room. As initiates are now barred from using the mirror shines, this training is no longer to be used under any circumstances. Oh, okay. So, it's just a training dummy? Um, do I want to train with it though? I guess I will. I came here for a reason, it must be some sort of quest. Practice our things. What's this thing do? Connects the past and the present like the can and so open the path. So long as you do not leave the room, death will return to you to this moment. Okay. So we'll do that. Whoa, that's creepy. <laughs> okay. So if we die, we end up there. I'm going to open this chest. Permanent artifact describes an incantation to recite while dodging. It briefly transforms the cast into a spirit, rendering them previous to all damages. Great. Okay, so attack and back away. Nope. That didn't work. That did, definitely didn't work. Oh, I like that. Yep. Okay, so we attack and back away. And then we close the gap by holding it. Nope, missed. That's alright. Oh, there we go. Okay, this is, this is actually quite easy. Once you get the combat, it's alright. But if you don't, you die so much easily. The guy almost charged me too. Um, corrupted heart and a corrupted finger. Um, <laughs> I think that's all, is it? There's nothing else. There's a candle. Maybe I should unlight that. Snuff out. That's uh, a cool little um, thing to use. What's in here? It's not... It's actually... If we hide, would we die? Ah! Oh, why did I do that? Ah! Now I'm gonna die now. No. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I'll open it. Purge your body to a negative step to heal yourself. Okay, wait. Damn, I don't know why I did that. That was the worst idea I've ever had. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. Okay, we're alive again. Um, a decorative shield, perpetually viking in origin, can, be, can block most attacks, although it will eventually break. Poise increases effectiveness. That's cool to have. Okay, so that give me a handicap because I died. Is that what it is? <laughs> okay, let's see what we're missing. Show us the damages. Um, we probably lost a bunch of spells, I'm guessing. But, wait, why is this so hard to navigate? Yeah, it looks like we lost everything important. Oh, I mean optionally important. Like, all our spells are gone. All our wax enemies probably respawn too oh but we got a shield out of it can't believe we died from that i just want to see what would happen it's me oh okay you just get the pattern and then bang and you're dead perfect now please give me something I need. Bandage healing item. Hmm, I might need that. Okay, we have no spells. Maybe we should get spells though. Can we get this? No. I want to get like candles and that. Oh no, not you again. Wait, what? How did you hit me? Oh, we almost died again. Wait, I need, I need the healing item. Where'd that healing item we got? 
Yes. Gore throat heals any bleeding. Ah, oh, no. I thought it was going to be actual healing items. The proper equipment could be... Okay, that's a healing item, right? Can I eat that or not? Poison antidote. We get everything but a healing item. Oh, you know how to get a healing item? I know. We'll have to go all the way to the left. Man, that little kid creeps me out. <laughs> Thought there was another enemy. Good thing they don't kill us. Uh, not used to games where witches are not attacking us. Weird. Okay, surely. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, no, no! Never mind. Let's let's not do that. Please don't follow us. Oh, it didn't follow. Maybe it's too big to walk in the door. But. Our health is not good at all. I need to figure out how to get health. Um, heals any poison? Nah, nah. They're not gonna. They're not gonna do us any good. We might have to die again. That's a shame. There's a question mark in here, so maybe we've missed something. Healing. Oh yes, a first aid kit. Perfect. Use that. Okay, now we're healed up. Okay. We'll continue with our quest. We did get our key, so let's see what we can do here. Okay, new area. That's the basement. Definitely looks dark. What do they say? Make sure you have a light or something. Search that. Oh, permanent light outfit. A light ragged robe representing the ghost of Christmas yet to come. Purchased by Margaret Blackett. For the Moston Private Asylum theatrical rendition of A Christmas Carol. Receive 50% less cursed rot damage. Receive 15% less cursed damage. Lightweight. Receive 2% less physical damage. But it's less speed. You know what? That sounds good. So let's equip that. Yes, look at us now. We look like probably a bad person. <laughs> Okay, maybe let's get whatever's in there. Yeah, it's better. No question marks. Oh, outside. This is not good. I can tell. We are her bricks and blood is her mortar. Oh yeah, we can use corrupted fingers. I forgot about that. Plus one item remember slot. Okay, so we remember that. What else should we remember? Maybe our coins? Yeah, let's remember our coins. <laughs> or maybe it should be our shield. Actually, no, I, I don't really use use a shield, do I? Probably break easy. Should give that a go, though. Okay, we can go down there. But before we go down... Ooh. You're a good person? Please be a good person. I swear the church was this way, but there is only a wall. I do forgive... Oh, do forgive me. Sometimes I forget that I am this damnable shadow world rather than the real one. I am the Vicer of St. Illis, the nearby parish church. Or at least it used to be nearby. It feels like it has been so long since I've seen it. Never mind all that. You've been in the house recently. Positively reeking with evil, isn't it? As a warrior of Christ, I have one thought, once thought to save the poor souls in there. Now I wish to only escape. You may think it cowardly, but spend a few more nights here and you'll see. Yeah, so he must be dreaming too. I see you staring at my lamp. I would be very happy to give it to you. But I need proof that you are a valiant warrior of Christ and not in league with the foul beasts in that house. Bring me the corrupted heart of one of those hefty poison spewing sheet covered abominations. <laughs> uh, very creative. Okay. We did have it, but when we died. ah. Oh. Okay, that's something to look out for. So he wants corrupted hearts from those monsters. Now... This is the hedge maze. I feel like I've been warned about the hedge maze. Critical spirit, blah, blah. Oh, useful. So it's critical, you need spirit twigs and warding candles. Useful is camera and dry photograph plate, spiable, cursed, exploring, ring of perception. I don't have, like, almost... I don't think I have any of them. <laughs> so I am leaving that. I think... Yeah, by the looks of the background, it looks like a pretty big place. And it doesn't even give me a map, so... Very strange. 
Okay, we have to battle this guy again. I went to explore. Oh, I don't want that. That's something I definitely don't want. No, no, no. Okay. I think he's cursing us, which is not good. Oh, he's using that little thing again. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Yes. Okay, if we continue like this, we will be very good. Oh no, not that, not that, not the poison. Please, no poison. He's using dirty tricks on us. Yes, one more hit, one more hit. Light hit. Oh, he got one final hit on us, but it's all worth it. And we got the heart, we got the corrupted heart, so we can go back to the guy now. Cool, we're back at the night guy. Let's give him the heart. Actually, can we have the lamp? I see you staring at my lamp. I would be very happy to give it to you. But I need proof that you are a valiant warrior of Christ. Yes, so we need the lamp for the basement, don't we? And then we're giving the corrupted heart. Excellent, you are indeed the worthy of this lamp. Use it well. Perfect, so did we get the lamp? Let's see. Yes! Okay. Wait, has it got battery? Let's see. No, I don't think it's got battery. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so that's definitely what we need in the basement. Imagine if I... Do I need to keep it though? Oh no, these are the only memorable items. That's good. So... That corrupted heart was useful after all. Let's head down now. Ah, oh, this is better. See? Going in the basement there, light. That's crazy. Read wrong room. Sweet Millie, dead girl. I still remember the trick. I open and close any door three times and step through to the wrong room. Really? One, two, three. Oh, it's just a three. Is this the wrong room? Yep, this is the wrong room. Um. Oh, that hurts me. Wait, I wish I can see my health, but the achievement's blocking me. Oh, it gives me more curse. Okay, maybe what I should do is... No, I should go back this way, or I'll get cursed. Okay, I need to put a candle on. Um, let's do that. Okay, it's getting rid of all my curse. The wrong room is very wrong, indeed. Okay, let's run across. I don't know if it takes any health. Open that. Oh, yes, wait, let's equip that. Oh, wait, what's with all these? Is it coming? Nope, nope. Okay, we're good now. So what I did, I don't know there's this goo, but it keeps cursing us. The S. What did we just get? We got this a ring with a crescent moon pointed at it. Moderately boosts spell damage. I'll use it. I don't really use spells, do I? <laughs> Bit of a more of a physical guy. Okay, this wrong room is really wrong. Oh, and a protective life ring. That one might be useful. 15% uh, max health, 40%. Ma Ooh, okay. Why is everyone being hanged, though? That's very sin. What? The door is... N okay, we're out of there. I don't know what that did. Okay, we're back in the normal place. <laughs> I didn't actually understand all that wrong room stuff. Okay, we can hide. This is one of the basement hallways, so it's the main part of this. Let's peek. Okay, peeking does absolutely nothing. <laughs> and... Okay, case notes. Uh, I don't want to read that. I don't think I need to. Is any of this... Wait, who said that? Is any of this real? Is someone in here with me? Another oh. One. Wait, what? What? No. Oh, you know magic. No. Did she just disappear or is she somewhere in the room? There she is. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, what is that? She's got all these spells. 
fancy. Yeah, I might die. I might die. Hopefully I won't, but this girl is crazy. Oh wait, do we have healing items? No, we didn't pick any up, did we? Okay, got to play as very safe. Damn, okay. Curse rot? What's curse rot for? No, no, it's danger. Yes, we kill her just in time. Oh, and then I died. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, at least we got our uniform still. And the oil lamp. Okay, let's see what we still have left. Receive that. Poise. And we probably lost everything. Yeah, we did. Damn. Oh my gosh, we're back here, and already there's one of these. Why is she so tall? What is going on? Maybe she's too tall to walk in here? Okay, I'll try to sneak up on her. Where is she gone now? Maybe she just disappeared for good. I hope. Oh, a hearty roll. I'm liking all these healing items. Okay, she definitely sees us. Oh, not curse rot. I don't even know what that does, but her health is going bad. Okay, we've got a technique. We have to kind of dodge through her. Sometimes. Oh, look at that. This is perfect. Oh, besides that, that really did the damage. Wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. I need to heal first. I need to get used to these controls. Let's try that. Yes. Okay, we're healing up. Though we're also curse rots. How do we heal the curse rot again? Okay, that's better. But we're still curse rot. Maybe we have to defeat her first. Oh, did she die? Maybe she got rotted. Corrupted liver. Giant. Maid. Yeah, this ain't good. How do I get rid of the curse rot? No. Okay, we're definitely gonna die. I'll go in here. Number nine. You can probably kill me, because I'll probably die anyway. Come here, mate. Where are you? Wait, where'd she go? Oh, there she is. We're still cursed. Okay, we need to hurry up and get stuff. Search. Sulfuric acid. That doesn't heal us. Uh, nah, that doesn't help us either. Okay, you're clearing, cleaning up the blood. That's good. Oh, please have something good in here. That's an axe. That's probably very useful, actually. Actually, what I'll do is I'll probably remember that. Let's go back. Before I die, if I remember it first, then it'll all be good for good. Oh, please remember it in time. What is that noise? Okay. Uh, manage remembered stuff. Get rid of that. Let's get that. Maybe that's just a curse rot. My, my time is nigh. I'll just probably... <laughs> I'll probably accept my fate. Okay, I died a few times in this basement. So what I'm going to do is... I've got my spell here and I've got the warding candles. So I think that's the only way we're going to defeat this giant person. Oh, we've got more ammunition for a photograph as well. That's good. So we've got to be very careful. As soon as I see it, or I know it's there, I should put my candle down. Because I kind of got uh, some rot accumulating on me at the moment. Let's equip whatever that is. Max curse resistance. That's exactly what I need. Is she there? 
that's not exactly ethical. <laughs> okay, this is getting freaky now. I believe she's nearby, so what I'm going to do... Oh, don't turn that off. Um, I'm going to equip the candle now. There we go. Right, it's going down. Oh, that wards them off too. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there you go. Okay. So now we're all healed up. Let's see where she is. Haha. -ha. Oh. Oh no. Wait, wait, wait. Do we have healing items? Oh yeah, we do. So I forgot to equip that. So let's do that now. There we go. Haha, <laughs> she can't curse us if the candle's there. Oh, never mind. She can do whatever she wants, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna do another one of them. Oh, she doesn't like that at all. Wait, how does that curse us? That's so bad. Okay, we've got to figure out if we've got any healing items. Heals blood and poison status effect. Now nah, we're going to die again. That sucks. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What if we get rid of it? Did we get rid of it? I'm not sure. Oh, I hear... Yes, okay. I think we're not dying from being cursed. But just to make sure, I'm going to do whatever this is myself and I'll also use a healing item I think we could have another first aid kit unless I used it let's see there we go perfect okay now we dealt with this person oh she left rot everywhere that's not very good oh, okay at least we got past her somewhat and we got more healing items which is good let's go in here Surely this is a good place to be. Oh, is there going to be another ghost? Oh, formless past connect the past and present light this candle open a path. So as long as you do not leave this room, death will return to you this moment. Perfect. Okay, we're in the kitchen. Are you going to kill us? Oh, this may be like a boss or something. Ah, you must be the new boy. I thought it was a girl. Just so you're aware, you're the last boy died of sepsis. He did not listen carefully to my instructions. I need you to find a way to get this cursed light working again. It's too dark. The gas must be shut off in the boiler room. Okay, that means we're going to the boiler room, I guess, wherever that is. Now, is there anything else in this room? Probably not. If I don't leave this room, I guess I'm not remembered now. What is this? West basement stairwell. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, no, it's not uncovered. Oh, well. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought it was up the top of the beginning again. This lock is broken. Fireworks. The night mother remembers we're here for a blood. Human fingers? Oh no, we haven't got enough. Excuse me, sir. Oh, I didn't actually mean to do that. <laughs> I apologize. I think I. What did I just do? I must have had some sort of curse in my hand. Where'd you go? Come back here. Oh, there you are. Yes! Okay, perfect. Okay, got some money, red wax, yellow wax. Maybe you should make more spells, they're actually quite useful. Okay, we're going this way. <laughs> I don't think it follows us though. Oh, that's a banquet hall. So this is a shortcut back to there, but there's that big monster in the way, which doesn't really help us at all. 
Okay, so if we kill that monster, we kind of find a shortcut to where our bed is, right? But we need to search all these rooms as well. Because this guy wants to... What was it he wanted? I need to find a way to get these cursed lights working again. It's too dark. Okay, I need to find the boiler room, turn the lights on. I don't know what the purpose of this is. Like, there's no threat in the room for this to even make sense. It's kind of creepy, though. <laughs> okay, let's go here. So we got a bit of health on us, so we can heal. That's a nine. Is this the boiler room? West to east in white lead. Ah, uh, okay, okay. This is the boiler room. Okay. Don't need you. Oh, it's one of you. You're easy to kill. We almost killed it in one hit. Or half health, anyway. Okay. I don't like this poison thing. Like, every monster has it. But I guess we just use the candles. I'm not used to games where I craft a lot, so I'll have to get used to that. Permanent heavy headwear. A foul smelling pumpkin with the bottom removed so it can be worn as a helmet. Worn once for a Samhain celebration by an initiate and then forgotten about. Receives 25 less poison build up. Heavy weight receives 3. I actually don't want to wear that though. Because I don't want to be any slower than what I am. Oh, this is really good. Well, it looks good. I got two of them. Critical ring. An ancient Byzantine ring. Any damage dealt by the wearer has a chance to be doubled. The chance scales with luck. What's my luck at though? Let's check. If I check my luck, where's my luck at? 106. Uh, okay, I'll wear it. I'll wear it. I mean, can't see why not, right? Four out of four rings. Contingent rings. Melee rings. So I've got a 6% chance now. Sweet Millie, dead girl in the dark. I can almost see her. Our number game, west to east in white lead. The other two are where we laid our heads. Okay. Nine. What do you mean the other two is where we laid our heads? It's like, is there two ones that are wrong? Oh, this is new. Pull the mirror. Um, it's seen... Wait, where are we? There's no monsters in here. That's good. Ah, you must be Nightingale. I've heard wonderful things about you from my daughter, Margaret. I am Dr. Robert Blackett. I do apologise for not coming to visit you sooner. Ah, so you're the person. Oh, I see you staring at my head wound. Nothing to worry about. Cut my head open on a low doorway. We old men bleed so easily. I'm afraid you've caught me at a bad time, as I must be heading upstairs. I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to get acquainted here in this dream. What? You're just going to leave me? What? For now, feel free to use my laboratory. You seem like a clever girl, so I'll let you borrow my basic lab manual. Enjoy the rest of your evening, Nightingale. Man, you're just walking around and there's so much monsters. That's a bit sus. Okay, craft. What are we crafting? Um, a jar. Throw it carefully as it's highly splash radius. Powerful healing tonic. Heal. Heals poison and health. I'm going to make one of them. That's all we can make. So we need empty jars. I can make one of them, one of them, two of them, and one of them. <laughs> um, okay, I just made a whole bunch, I guess. Oh, we might need them. Search. Coffee things. So maybe after the end of the episode, I won't finish it here, but um, what I'll do is I'll sort out my listings so you don't have to watch me go through all this so much so there's so much slots i'll organize it off screen make it easy for you guys to watch okay wasn't the first one nine so nine nine and any monsters in here yes i hear it i hear it there's a monster definitely there you are a witch Oh, we almost killed it so easily, too. Where are you? One more hit. There you are. <laughs> okay, that was great. If we keep doing that with the witches, we should be able to get it through here without dying. Unless something, like, strange happens. So there's 9-9. Nine, nine. What's the rest? 
Um, are you a bad person? Ah, night the first witch. I think I was meant to meet her. Ah, Nightingale, I'm so sorry for her earlier misunderstanding. I am the first witch, and I run the sor sororal order of the initiated. The filthy wretch and I, thorough, careful, and often perilous experiments, have come to understand much about the dream. Are you the one that killed me? Yeah, you are, aren't you? I bestow this knowledge up to onto worthy young initiates such as yourself. How do we train you? This will sound a bit... I don't even know what that word is. The blood and vital organs of the dream's inhabitants hold tremendous power by offering them in a ritual to the entity that controls the dreams. The body may be permanently strengthened. Additionally, worthy initiates are given special gifts as they ascend in their ranks. In fact, you'll receive a special gift after your very first offering. Here is a hunting guide and an offering list you can refer to. I look forward to working with you to unlock your full potential, Nightingale. Uh, yeah, that's that's all for you. Let's, let's level up. So this is how you do it. Increase total health, allowing one to survive longer in a dream. Um, so what's... Oh, it's cancelled. It's nothing. So I can do my health. Warding. Absorb more curse damage before succumbing to curse, right, allowing one to better perceive ghosts and discover additional secrets. Hmm, I feel like that's what kills me most, right? But this one is all the other ones. I'm going to do that one. You're now level one. Congratulations on your first offering, Initiate. Your reward is a key that unlocks our network of secret passages. The bookshelf in this room connects directly to another part of the house. Very convenient. Your next reward will be at level five, an advanced grimoire that will let you create new spells. I look forward to your next offering, Initiate. Oh, we will do that. <laughs> okay, I'll do my health this time. Level two. Uh, I need a corrupted heart now. If you find something you're running out of, harvest organs. You need to begin a new night. All of your targets will be revived too. Oh, do I? Dying is one way to start a new night, but it comes with obvious downsides. Search for another blue bookshelf and you might find a different way. So the, um, kind of like the knights above us, kind of said don't join it. Um, but bad things will happen, so... I guess I disobeyed him, but I mean, he make, she makes us level up. Can't see doing this game without doing that. The Night Mother remembers we are her bricks and blood is mortar. Uh, we need stuff to do that. Then we can remember more things, which we probably, in hindsight, should need. How do we get the Corrupted Heart? We need to destroy those little things. Any danger received by the wearer has a chance to be halved. I would do that, but I think we've equipped all our ring slots, haven't we? Have we searched your body? Oh, we didn't even search your body. Wow. <laughs> oh, yep, those are the ones with the corrupted hearts. Why are there two of them? Why? Why? Okay, this is not good. At least we can attack both of them at once, though. Oh, this is actually quite good, actually. Oh, no, besides that. Poisoned? No, no. Wait, we need to get out of the room now. Ah, uh, heal, heal, heal. Heal better. Uh, I think I need the first aid kit for this. Use, 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 use. Yes! Okay, just made it in time. But, I think we still need to heal more. Yeah, that's better. The cursed rot. Yes, we killed them both too. Oh, mate. Oh, wait, I'm still poisoned, aren't I? Oh, the poison's running out. Okay, we've got some healing items there. At least we sorted that. You can sort out the blood. <laughs> Bodies are out there. Would go out there, little, little fella. Oh, yes, we got our healing items back too. Definitely worth going in there. Did we get. That's a hide. Curiously, there's no handle, so we must do that from the other side, I guess. Open that. Now, the witches are going to be in here, aren't they? Oh, wait, who are you? It's very strange. I know what you're thinking. 
Why would this gentleman and his dog be locked up if they hadn't done something nefarious? <laughs> I was actually was thinking that too. Surely this man murdered someone and this great beast of a dog dragged the body into a lake. Well, I can assure you we are merely the victims of a cruel jape no more. My name is Felix and this is my noble hound Horace. If you would be so kind as to fetch the rusty cage key, I'm sure we can be of great use to you. Um, I don't have it, sorry. But I will find it. Another quest to add to the collection. Storage. Now I wonder... What is this coin purse? A cloth coin purse dyed red with blood and powdered organs. Normally all possessions are lost upon death in the dream, but this purse will save Persevere 10 coins. That is great, and it's a permanent, so it's even better. Uh, let's got another mirror. Okay, we can actually go there, but I don't need to go there because we lost our photo. We'll need to get another photo of the things. There's nothing else in this room, I think. That's great. Let's go. That was a safe sigil room, too. So if we go here, we're going to find a witch in these. So it's 992 now. Wait, am I getting burnt? <laughs> okay, that was a bit weird. Uh, search that. So n I think it was 992. Did I miss a number? Let's see. 992. But, what if there's something in here? Which there isn't. Like how it has a shield but doesn't really use it. Oh, my curse is really coming up to me, isn't it? I might have to go here and sort out my candles. No! No! Okay. Okay. First aid kit. Let's go. No! 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 What? No! Oh, that, that's absolutely bonkers. <sighs> but we know what the code is. It's 992. So we'll go back there. Hopefully it didn't change. It probably did. Um, but we'll head down there. Um, I'll end this episode here though, um, in the next episode we'll make it through that boiler room, turn the lights off and see other little secrets. In the meantime, hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you then. Bye!